times before, but undoubtedly the nerves will be ramping up a bit for Frankie Vittori. He thrives on moments like this. Now one to seven in spiral. Keep a close eye on Sibylla Spain going into the stalls. She is in. Richard has the call. In the group one, Tattersall's Falmer. And Sandrine completes the line. Remember, in spiral, was a little bit slow out of the stalls at Ascot. They just been rustiness. Red, white, and blue on the outside. They all jump as one and prosperous voyage. It is who immediately goes on. Sibylla Spain really did grab hold already on the Metra as out in the centre. Prosperous voyage leads the field. Prosperous voyage allowed to stride on then by Rob Hornby shows the way to Sandrine in the hooped colours in the nose band. In spiral, red, white, and blue sits in third place. Prima Baccio, who we heard from Ed Walker, will be held up for a late run. Pale blue on the outside of the darker blue of Sibylla Spain. And it's a sensible enough gallop being set by Prosperous Voyage. Reasonable pace, 11.68 for that firm. Remember, we were talking um, much slower than that in one of our earlier handicaps over more ground. And Sandrine in second, in third place in spiral. Out in the lead, Rob Hornby is going to make it a decent test here. Sandrine in second. Third place is in spiral as Prosperous Voice still takes them along. Sibylla Spain and Primo Baccio is last of all. And now Frankie just moves a little closer on in spiral as they approach the halfway stage. In spiral on the outside of Sandrine, Prosperous Voice facing some challenge now on the outside. Primo Baccio, Frankie just having to get into the riding position there on the outside. And spiral will immediately put this to bed with Sandrine, Prosperous Voice back in third. Sandrine from in spiral, Frankie Dottori. In third place now is Prosperous Voyage trying to rally and Spiral out in the lead is still facing challenges here from Sandrine and Prosperous Voyage. She's edged off a true line. She has the lead but she's going to have to win ugly here because Prosperous Voyage is rallying and Prosperous Voyage has got back past them. Prosperous Voyage in Spiral just didn't fire into the lead. And has been turned over by Rob Willoughby. And Rafe Beck in a group one for them and Spiral beaten. Loses her unbeaten record in second place. 16 to 1, Prosperous Voyage in Spiral sat closer, moved up past Prosperous Voyage, who seemed to drop back to third place at one stage, but saw out the trip better than in Spiral. Sandrine in third, they always held the front three positions and remained clear of Prima Baccio and Sibylla Spain. Never be afraid of one horse is the adage. Prosperous Voyage has seen the rear end of in Spiral during the course of her career for the first time in Spiral at the line. So the rear end of Prosperous Voyage. It wasn't to be the perfect reunion for Frankie and John Gosden. Prosperous Voyage has lowered the colours of Inspiral in the Group 1 Falmouth. And there'll be a lot of people absolutely over the moon for jockey Rob Hornby. Teaming up with Rafe Beckett for Group 1 Glory, Jason. Yeah, he talked about hitting the, the crossbar on numerous occasions and, and not quite managing to yeah, have things or the bounce of the ball go his way. She looked destined for third, didn't she? As the, you know, the taps were turned on, he made a real good even tempo throughout. Initially, slightly outpaced, Sandrine and in spiral, set sail for home, and you think, right, those two, and all of a sudden, here she is on the outside, and she could put up a, a great re rally if you can call it that, Ollie. Um, in spiral, not the same, or I'm, I'm trying to look for some sort of excuse, but I can't really see one straight off the bat. Well, we talk sometimes in racing about the bounce factor, sort of an unquantifiable factor. After a long absence, they can perform to a very good level, as in spiral clearly did at Royal Ascot. But then next time out, not fire. She clearly hasn't been the same horse that we saw at Royal Ascot. Yeah, I think that's a that's a fair statement. I mean, she's we're just seeing her. She's just coming past us now. You know, the weather it was very hot. She does get a bit more edgy than a few. You know, as that come into it, but she doesn't actually look overly sweaty or anything coming in. Does she? She looks absolutely fine. But you know, you, you kind of feel for Frankie because you feel like you know you don't want, he can't be blamed. You know, he hit the front, he got there. It wasn't like oh, Prosper's Voice has an easy lease in front. She was passed and she's re-rallied you know is it the kind of more race fitness a bit more battle hardened for the for the eventual winner yeah i just heard frankie Vittorio was ear weeding into his conversations again he said she actually ran a heart out of that's it may very well be the bounce factor the prosperous voyage has bounced back uh, bounced back after a disappointing run at roy Ascot. she's a group one winner today sally ann yeah, ollie just beforehand i said that she's been the bridesmaid many times but she's definitely the bride today rob just delighted really for for her, for her owners and especially for the whole team at, at Rage at Kempton. They, they worked so hard and always had so much faith in, in her and um, you know look, coming in having been beaten three times by Inspiral it was 
you know, a case of what do we need to do and she wasn't quite herself for, for whatever reason at Ascot and put her to bounce back like that. Um, just, just so pleased for her. And a great win for you too. It must be on back on top of the world because you've had a, a couple of near misses. Yeah, it's just crazy, isn't it? It's a roller coaster of a game and it's a, an amazing game and to just get the opportunity to be riding these types of horses and in Group 1s and the highest level is um, a huge privilege and an honour. Well, it's well deserved because Colin King spoke so highly of how well you behaved. And just a quick word to say well done to Beth because I know how shocked you were by her. So shocked. <laughs> She's pretty good. <laughs> She's a little superstar. Well done, everyone.